Hey everyone, it's the Panda. welcome back, let me just step away from there for a minute, <laughs> welcome back to the Direwolf 2118 mod pack, um, my uh, mana level's gone up quite quickly, because I just slapped down a load of these Chrono Exchangers, and it generates mana at a ridiculous rate, so much so, yeah, I've got lots of mana now. After a while, it does start to slow down, and it'll start pulling mana back out of the gems. All you do to stop that is just break the circles. And it stops the drainage. So yeah, this is uh, really good. I've got two and a half or just over two and a half gems so you can see it's when it first started i was getting like 100 150 nearly 200 mana every few seconds now it has slowed right down to get in very little and it will start to drain mana it may well be that I'm producing more mana than it can drain at the minute but I will start to lose mana now and all we do to stop it is that so I lose the drain but I also I have loads of mana now, which is good because it means we can do some more of these cool spells. Although first things first, ooh, a sleep charm for eight emeralds, and I mean. I mean, that's easy to make, but... Why not? Oi! Get back. Back here. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm evil. I, I am definitely the villain in the story. Uh, let's chuck the emeralds back in there, along with that, and that. That goes in there. Oh, oh no, it goes in a charm slot. That's fine. Right, so now we've got all this, what I do want to do is we want Caliburn. To get that we need uh, not that one. Uh, Power consolidation, is that the one? Yes. It'll spawn us. This circle placed on the floor will spawn a lake. Each growth of the lake costs 30 mana when the lake is reached full size. Castica throwing an enchanted sword. The holier, the better. Costs 5,000 mana, so I need two diamonds and an emerald. Now, I don't want to build it anywhere around here and end up destroying something here. So I'm going to go over to where my Gaia Guardian arena was. Uh, let's 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 build it here. So 
So what did it say? Two diamonds and an emerald. Two diamonds. Emerald. That is quite a big lake. And it's very green. Right. All we need now is an enchanted sword. Which it makes a sword based on the sword that you put into it, the caliber is more powerful. So if I was to look at what swords we do have, I have got a netherite sword. Let's just throw all this junk away. Although I have got that, that would actually be better. Do I have netherite left? Uh, no, I do not. I also cannot spell ancient debris. There we are. So what we'll do is we put some ancient debris into here. Actually, how much do you get when you arc furnace it? It does double up with the arc furnace as well. Oh, you can triple it. Because that would turn into debris fragments, which we then resonate into gravel, which we then cut into scrap, which we then smelt. That is a lot of. Do you know what? Let's just throw it in there. <laughs> that will at least turn it into four that I can just throw into there. And get four scrap from. And that's us for scrap. Goes into here, becomes one. Another right ingot, goes into here, okay, turns scratch. that into you. My Google thing is having a field day. Right, so we've got another right sword with smite. So. Uh, what enchantments can we get on here? So I think smite is probably what it means by holier. Uh, if we that, that is so cool, but no. Um, oh yeah, I forgot we got the advanced another right mod as well. So, experience with vigilante, venom, magnet, life leech, frost, leech, vorpal, radius, bane, mending, and looting, not back fire aspect, bit of arthropod, shaman, smite. Supernatural breaking, curse of vanishing, nature's been soul steal. So smite is going to be the one it's on about. So if I went here and use hash smite, I have got one of those, which gives me plus one smite. So that's smite three. So if I was to do this, then that should be smite four. And then just to make sure that it is repaired. I've got three of those. There we go. And that'll mend with nature's aura. So if I go over here. Well, we've got loads of mana.
we should start seeing that repair. He says with confidence that it's not repairing. Oh well, it'll do. Right. Let's go back to the lake, shall we? Right, quickly select, just sorry if I have to mess around with this in the night time. So, to the lake. Oh. There it is. Caliburn. Right, somebody took a pot shot at me. Oh, maybe they didn't. So, we've got... Twelve damage. Not bad. Not bad at all, that, for damage. But this also, apparently, will scare off the undead. I suppose it just means finding someone dead. Which I'm pretty sure there were a big cave system around here somewhere. somewhere else and I completely forgot where I'm going. Right, let's go find some mobs. As soon as I said that, I immediately find the cave I'm looking for. So, oh yeah. Oh. So the skeletons are running away, but when I right click, Do this lunge. Oh, no, it's not just a lunge. So let me find some other poor sap. Like this skeleton here. Hey, run away. Right click. He pulls to me and I pull to him at the same time. But it doesn't work on the creeper. Okay, that is quite cool actually. I mean, it's a great looking weapon. But. Naff off. I wonder. Put it in offhand. Nope, they're not scared of it. So if I was to... Wrong button. Uh, that one. They are scared of it again now. Okay. That actually killed the stoneling. Holy crap. Ha! <laughs> Sucks to be you. Right. Let us get the heck out of here. Where. Right, 
Where's my warp stone? Um. Oh, bugger. Alright, back in a more. Okay, I do like the sound of this. The Wicked Sword, result of the corruption of Caliburn through the murder of villagers. More so child villagers. That's interesting. The Holy Lance, Rongoniad. Rongomiad? Rongomiad? That. Replica is a great shield. So we've got AV teleportation, we can sprint, shockwave. To get replica, block an attack with a strength and shield in your main hand. We'll also have an immunity exchange, maximum damage absorption stacks, 50 armor, and over 100 death collection scrolls. Holy crap, that is a lot. Right, let's corrupt Caliburn. That's what I want to do at the minute. Fortunately for me... I know, there's one or two villagers. Hello! Bye bye! Murder spree! Can't. I can hear hear your irritating noises. Oh, a chest I never opened. Might not be any left in here. Oh no! One more there. Right, back in a moat once we've. Uh... Yeah, mass slaughter and carnage. And all those fun things. Right, so having butchered many a village, I have a feeling when it talks about your bestest and closest friend, it's not talking about villagers. And I refuse to do anything to Indy. However, there may be another way, because I am pretty sure somewhere around here I have got a bottle with a wolf in it. It's just a case of remembering where I put it. There it is. So let's get the wolf. Hi. There we go, my bestest friend. And the whole wide world. How adorable and lovely and kind and nice. Ah, oh, you do yet to kill a doggy. We've got Morgan. 
Now this, if we were to go to somewhere like here, where I know there's a few villagers left. So if I right click, ooh, I saw something and then the game said it didn't like it. My mana went down quite a lot. Holding right click with Smith to ball of evil to stab and pull enemies nearby. Uh, using the key bind. Which, uh, I only remember that one. Uh, Morgan. Oh, changes the colour. AOE tap changes the colour. Oh, so this is a lot of the colour changes. Okay, right. Let's go. And power this sword up. Twelve point two. Twelve point four. <laughs> so it is getting stronger the more I kill villagers. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, this is deplorable. Any weapon that requires you to walk around villagers and just massacre them. It's not a weapon you should be getting. Oh, there's that evil ball of energy. Funny old noises. There's nobody in that one. So really, what I could do we do it in if I wanted to uh, power this sword up is build a villager farm. And then just go into the village periodically and just 13.2 okay that is a cool weapon and I suppose with enough time and enough villagers that could also be a ridiculous weapon does it have a limit provided the damage so it requires mana, so I need to make sure I've got mana when I kill villagers to get it. Also healing the damage the sword has. Right, pressing the keybind with the sword equipped. What's the keybind? Uh, draw to, yeah, change with the code for... No idea. They can go away for a bit. Right, let's head back home. Right, 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 right. We are back in the village. Ah, oh. there's our murky water from the lake because that's where our ley line is if you want to do more of this stuff but yeah I mean the thing about this mod is I don't think it has I mean it's got a lot of cool items and pieces of equipment it's definitely one that you need to start early not to take full advantage of but given where I am now, although I want to make that projection, I think it looks cool. Given where I am now, there's nothing this mod has 
that's really going to benefit me. Definitely a mod you need to start early. I need some of them scrolls, don't I? Cloths, that's the one. Uh, that one. Oh, wow. So this is a decorative thing. So you can have the circle. So if I change that to five, five, ring height to 0.5, and speed to two, size to two. Right. Oh, wow. That just stopped it mid. And I can pick it back up. Oh, okay. Alright, this is actually quite cool. So the fact that you can actually... Uh, so if I change that to zero, that to zero. There we go, we're flat again. But it acts like a block. So if I was to put it, say, there, but change the pitch to 90. Oh, and then the yaw to 90. <laughs> and then if I change speed to 2.5, uh, we want Uh, no, no, keep that as it is. Let's make this. Oh, wow. Set it to any colour you want, and if you can have it rotating and spinning, you can just have the circle, or you can just have the ring. So that would make a good blocked place. Like if you're doing like a stargate type portal, you could always bung the size up like that. I was to grab you back and put you, say. There. And then turn the ring off so it doesn't clip through the ground here. <laughs> Alright, that is a cool, cool little decoration. I can also cannot climb up the set of stairs. It also lags the chuff out of your game. Especially when you're at the point I am at with so many different things going on. Right, let's fix you again. Right, that can go away. And I think that is going to be it for today. So, yeah. Mahousuki, Mahousukai, get it early. 
do it like at the beginning of the game. So it gives you the best, like, the best chance of getting lots of mana innately. So you can start casting some of these. Find your ley line, build your little temple. I mean, some of these are probably really interesting, really cool. But, no, I think we're beyond all the benefits this mod can have. Da and the only thing left, really, is delving into technology. So I've already got a short list of techs that I want to look at. Because I don't want to just go through all the... You know, the ones that we've done a thousand times over. So there's going to be no thermal, no mechanism. There is going to be some mechanism, but I'm going to do it on stream. And that's purely so I can get a ore processor sorted out. So we can get rid of all those ores that we've got in there. Um, but we are going to be looking at um, things like compact machines... RF tools and dimensions, XNet, Super Factory Manager, Flux Networks, Laser IO, um, Deep Resonance is definitely one I want to go back and uh, have a play with because I've not seen that mod in ages. Um, and we are going to do some immersive engineering, but again, that might be a stream thing. Uh, but th between things like so if, if you watch the stream this Saturday, if I can, come on, get up there. What I might have to do is do a little bit of a purge on this, cause uh, yeah, magic is slowly, oh, oh, the, the game is slowly dying to death. I think the upgrades, the backups took nearly two minutes. So I definitely need to do something to uh, to help cut down some of the uh, jitteriness of this now. But we'll make do the best that we can. When things start getting a bit too much, we we'll, we'll look at what we're going to do next pack wise. Which I've already got an idea what we're going to do, but we shall see when we get there. All that being said. As always, if you like the episode, hit the like button. If you liked it, hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can find out when new episodes come around. Don't forget to go to the Discord down in the description and the Twitch channel so you can catch with the live streams and keep track of what's happening day to day and week to week on this channel and other things that are happening. So I'm going to be talking about more of that soon in the Discord uh, and eventually on the channel as well. So do keep it out for stuff like that. But all that being said, you guys take it steady. Have a sense of good one. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.